Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are indeed new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a little, little thumbs up and comment. Let me know how or why because y'all confirmations, they do be hitting. <laughs> Alright, thank you to anyone who likes, shares, subscribes, donates. I appreciate all the love and the support. Thank you to anyone who has booked a reading and thank you to anyone who wishes to book a reading. If you wish to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading, okay? So please be aware of the scammers out here in these streets, okay? So what are we talking about today? <laughs> we are talking about what do you need to prioritize right now? Whenever you're watching this, there's something that needs your main focus, your main attention. Maybe you just feel lost. Maybe you just, you're curious. It doesn't matter, you know? We're gonna see what comes out for you. And uh, as always, you know, just take what resonates. You can pick more than one pile if you feel called to, but you don't have to watch this if you don't want to, okay? No one has a gun to your head, baby. <laughs> All right, so. We have three piles today, pile number one, which is the Tredivia deck, pile number two, which is the villains, Disney villains tarot deck, and pile number three, which is the Game of Thrones tarot. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. Ooh, hi, pile one. I'm sorry if that was loud. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so we get notified. So we get notified. So you get notified. Also, cleanse, clear, and protect this space, please. Cleanse, clear, and protect my energy. Okay. So, <laughs> as I was... Yeah, hit the subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new content. If it resonates, you know, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Let me know how or why in the comments, okay? Um, if you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I'm not going to ever message you for a reading, so please beware of scammers. And um, thank you guys for catching a vibe. Always keep in mind that thousands of people are watching, so... You know, if something doesn't feel right, if something triggers you, you don't have to watch this. You can watch another pile, watch another reading. Use your discernment. You're very intuitive. Okay, baby? So, we have, um, what do we got going on? We're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. Again, you know, if this doesn't resonate, you're going to have to watch another pile, watch another reader. Just do what makes you smile, boo. All right. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way. Let's get it. Pile number one's current energy. Whoa. Three cards, please. <laughs> Why did I hear I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. And then I also heard, um, I got my eye on you. So somebody got their eye on you. And it's either they feel like they want to put a spell on you. I said three cards and we got mad cards right now. Okay. Wow. Jesus. There's a lot going on here. This is somebody who could be obsessed with you. You possibly have someone obsessed with you. You do. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's see what's really going on. Oh, this person sees that you are a beacon of light. You are very efficient. You are somebody who just goes with the flow, but yet you are still productive and you still have this efficiency to you. It's like you, you were like the best of both worlds, right? And the thing is, is like you make this person want to change and they want to find more out about you. This is somebody who is going to maybe do their research on you or ask other people about you. They're feeling super chaotic because they kind of feel addicted to your energy and they feel like their time is of the essence. So it's like they, they kind of want to like find out everything about you. They want to find out what you like. Maybe foods with the chef energy. But they do see you as somebody who's growth focused, who's innocent, who is like magical they like your body a lot too and you know this could be either if you're in a relationship this is somebody who is like pissed that you're in a relationship and they're still obsessed with you and they want to figure out a way to overcome that which obviously they can't because you have free will what the hell but um <laughs> yeah this person i don't like this energy i do not like this energy at all what is this 
butcher. This could, if this is, like, this could be an ex for you guys if you are in a relationship. Yeah, this is somebody who is, like, you don't talk to them and they want to talk to you. High Priestess. King of Wands in the reverse. This person, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Cherry in the reverse. Knight of Swords. This person's still gonna come in. This person's still gonna come in. And you're gonna have your boundaries up. But this person's like super chaotic. Like this is, ener you're gonna, no. Because with this high priestess is like, you're gonna keep everything hidden. But you'll know like right when they come up to you. Because they're gonna be this, in this chaotic energy. And you're just gonna be like, absolutely not. You're gonna cut straight to the bullshit, through the bullshit, right? With this ace of swords energy, right? With this butcher, you're gonna be ruthless. And you're gonna be like, ayo. Da -da 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 -da. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay? I don't know. Cool. and um this person is a very negative person okay king of swords in the reverse and then they see you as the empress or the emperor so that's why they want to take action towards you but it's like they want to hold on to you and it's like they don't want to change so they feel left out this could either be somebody you left um it's definitely somebody you left behind i feel it's either somebody who you left behind or somebody who you had no idea who they are but they see you in some way Maybe they know somebody, met, uh, know you through fam or something like that, or friends. Uh, they never really gave you energy, whether it was uh, someone you don't know or you do know. This person never, it's like breadcrumbing, or they never spoke to you, never uh, decided to, you know, it's like fear of rejection kind of vibes. They were stuck in their ego, so they felt like you would reject them, but now it's like they want to talk to you because, I don't know, something's, something's pushing them. You know, they feel like they're going to miss an opportunity and they feel super jealous either uh, of the fact that others are, are attracted to you or that they missed their chance because they didn't give you the right energy and now they want to try and work this out or they feel like it would work out if they tried to manifest this because they feel super powerful right now. But even if they are powerful, quotation marks, they're still in a super negative, uh, chaotic, possessive, egotistical, very... Um, gross energy so you're gonna move on and you're gonna be just fine and you're going to be somebody who this person uh can never let go of i think you're karma for this person to be honest and i don't know why this is coming out but i guess this is for you to just like know that this person it, they may lie or something and say that <laughs> they changed or try to present themselves as this child when in reality they are this madman and this butcher so <laughs> If that resonates at all, if that sounds like a person who you may know or may not know, I don't fucking know why that even came out. <laughs> Let's get into your reading. All right, pile one. So we have fool, we have solitude, and then we have bring love into this situation. Heavy Aquarius energy, and we also have Virgo energy as well. <clears throat> so there's something about you give a lot, you know, you bring a lot of love. You're truly authentic and you're an inspiration. But you do have somebody, because with this solitude, this is the hermit. So you do have somebody, because all these weeds are like trying to pull on this person, you know? And this is somebody who's trying to focus on their solitude. It's like you have other things that you need to prioritize. And, you know, there's somebody who is emotionally immature. Somebody who masks their feelings and acts like they're happy or acts like there's nothing going on when in reality there's so much going on and they're extremely codependent on you because you bring this light to them and it's like you take them out of their reality you take them out of their feelings you take them you know maybe you are funny maybe you're exciting it's like you're a distraction um and this person the, the lesson here is that you give and you know you prioritize this person like if some this person's going through something uh no matter who they are family friend lover you'll drop everything on the dime and um because you do that you cause a lot of delays right now and there's things that you need to focus on which we will get deeper into the um in the tarot but the main thing is is that like you need to bring love into yourself pour into yourself because she's literally pouring and it's pouring into her okay so there's your intuition has been telling you this for a while like you know maybe this person like is always needy or something like that it's giving clingy there's something about somebody being clingy and very much like you need solitude right now and you also have to process your emotions because there's something about you laughing at your pain etc etc and there's nothing wrong with that you know it is what it is 
pain is our greatest teacher, etc., etc. But there's something about there's a pain that you've been holding on to that you didn't really take seriously that you're you need to like look at. What is this? Well, what is this pain? The devil. Okay. And the king of swords in the reverse. Okay, so maybe there's a romantic thing, a uh, person that you're still holding on to. Uh, if not, let's say like there's somebody who you're holding a grudge against or you're very hurt by somebody from your past. It's like that kind of energy. You may still obsessively think or you start getting negative if you see this person, think about this person. This person may not be in your life at all, but you hold on to this feeling and then it instead of like, you know, moving forward and, and moving on, because I definitely do think this could have been somebody who, you know, you had a, maybe a little crush on or, you know, doesn't have to be. This person could be younger than you, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but no matter what, this is somebody, maybe you even worked with this person, uh, but at the end of the day, this is somebody who like, when you think about them, <sighs> the toxicity comes and then you lower your vibration and that's another thing that blocks you, okay? So this is actually, that's a separate thing than this person who's very like clingy or possessive of you, okay? So that's two separate people. Someone who is no longer in your life that is still, like if somebody mentions their name, if somebody, if you see them online, if you get a whiff of them or something reminds you of them, you immediately get triggered and it brings you down. You start thinking negative and you're holding on to something and there's a need for either forgiveness and forgiveness is not for them. It's always for you or finding a way to process that and letting it go. Whether you write a letter to them, cussing them the fuck out for whatever it is that they did to you because there's definitely pain here but it's like it's toxic it's it's poison for you okay it's toxic for you this person has no idea that you even think about them or has no this doesn't do anything for you and it doesn't affect them at all the only thing that it does for you is it just lowers your vibration and causes more blocks anything else for the solitude uh knight of pentacles and the hermit in the reverse. There's something in regards to your finances or your career or maybe your creative ventures that you have not been prioritizing because this ace of wands was in the reverse. So it's like, and with the hermit in reverse, it could be something like a creative venture, maybe you posting your content or something like that, writing a book, creating something, creating that podcast. You haven't been giving your energy, six of pentacles in the reverse because of the need for these other weeds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You give your energy to the weeds and you're very patient, don't get me wrong. Uh, but the thing is, is like, it's slowing it down. You could have been in your Knight of, uh, look, Queen of Pentacles. You could be in your Queen of Pentacles energy, but you're in your Knight of Pentacles energy because of you uh, feeding the weeds, okay? It's blocking your manifestations, the magician. What's this bring love into the situation? So prioritizing your solitude. Oh, gosh. We have the Devil again and the Four of Pentacles. Again, bringing love. And I don't know, but there's, there's a need for you to just... Bring love to yourself, pour into yourself, and let whatever this is go. I don't know what this is. Give me more. What is this? Like, nine of... Yeah, somebody who hurt you. You still haven't closed out this cycle, okay? You're very slow with it. I don't know. There's an emphasis on grudge. You know, there's big emphasis on that. What's funny is I just posted a, a short talking about, like, letting go of a grudge or someone's going to talk to you so you maybe have seen that short but it's like maybe it was about this per person this butcher person and that's what's going to happen what you need to prioritize is bring love to the situation always know that everyone's doing the best that they can with what they have given that does not give uh any less pain that doesn't justify what they did that doesn't like make it right but it is also a fact and um you know hurt people do hurt people but I'm not giving them excuses. I'm just saying it, that, like, there's a need for you to forgive and move on and pretty much prioritize yourself. Because with this, it's like you're masking that you're happy, but you're still stuck on whatever this situation is that brings you down to a low vibration. Every time you see this person or whatever it is, it just triggers you. And um, you haven't been honest with yourself. You know, you thought that you may have healed or moved on from this, but you haven't. So take the time to do that. 
um, however you can, maybe a cord cutting, maybe again, like I said, writing a letter to them, cussing them out or, or explaining to them how much you were hurt. Um, you know, there's, there's things looking for what you're grateful for out of, um, the situation, you know, getting to the bottom of the truth. You know, I do feel like you fear something in regards to this and, um, I'm not sure what, what it is. It's probably subconscious. It's not like you consciously, it's like, I don't know. You don't want to, it's just, you're really stuck on this and, um, you're trying to brush past this healing process. You're trying to move way too fast. Like, yeah, no, I'm good. It happened like two weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? But technically it probably happened a long time ago, but whatever this is, it doesn't matter how, when it happened. All that matters is that you make sure that you get honest about the fact that you still feel something when you see this person and that it is blocking you and it does make your vibration go lower. Um, what you do with that, that's on you, but they are saying to prioritize healing that or finding a way to let go of that or release that. I ain't going to tell you anything else. That's it. Like if you want to forgive them, you can, if you don't, obviously you don't have to, you never really have to forgive anybody to re be real honest. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, but, um, free will, you know, that's what they're saying to prioritize forgiveness or finding a way to just let it go. You know, maybe doing a letting go meditation, but let's see what else you need to prioritize right now in your tarot. Okay. Pile number one. I'm sorry. That first part was really intense. Okay. This is a little lighter, but there is again, this emphasis on boundaries and speaking your truth. If you need to go, or if you don't have time, you know, I'm not saying like ignore everybody because it coincides with that solitude, but it's like speaking your truth instead of just ghosting everybody. Okay. Keeping your relationship strong with the people that you really care about. If you need to cut them off, cut them off. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the people you care about. The people you care about, you need to let them know, like, I'm taking time for myself. Instead of just ghosting, because, you know, it keeps the relationship strong. If they're meant for you, if they're meant to be in your life, they'll obviously understand. And they'll be like, yeah, just get back to me when you feel that you have time or when you feel that you feel better or, you know what I'm saying? Whenever. Like, I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> they will know what you're saying. But, uh... There is an emphasis. You need to prioritize your healing, prioritize your peace, prioritize studying. There's something about you studying or, or learning something, maybe a craft that you have, something about your job, leveling up. You may, you're meant to teach something, okay? And in order to teach, you do learn while you teach, by the way, but there's a need for you to continue to focus on studying and leveling up your education or whatever this is that will help you in your business. It will help you prosper. I'm not sure, but there is a need for you to plan on studying, okay? Also, with this Four of Swords and the Three of Wands energy, it's like you're going to be coming out of your cocoon. Things are going to be speeding up for you with this Two of Pentacles. And you don't see this coming, but you do need to prioritize your rest as of right now because things are going to be changing. Some of you guys, you may be traveling, so you need to get prepared for that, okay? Um, Six of Swords, Three of Wands, you could be traveling, you could be moving, or it's maybe it's just movement in your life pretty much is what I'm getting. Like multiple wishes that you have been focusing on trying to manifest are going to come in pretty quickly. You're going to be abundant. You're, it's coming in. Whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, you don't see it, but it is coming in. It's coming down this funnel and other people will be involved in this situation and you're going to be juggling a lot. But right now, it's like you got to prioritize your self-care, prioritize cleaning house, uh, you know, getting your laundry done, having your suitcase ready, making sure you got your passport. There's something about being ready for a spontaneous travel because there's an opportunity that could be coming in for you guys. Let's say, um, you know, it's giving like crowd or, or you talking in front of people, whether online or um, in person, but it's like, if you're talking online, it's like you have to fly somewhere to, let's say you go on a podcast or something like that, you fly out and then you go there and then you talk with these people and it gets posted, others see it online, etc., etc. But that's just an example of like what I mean. It's gonna be different for all of you, but you do need to prioritize your sleep and your rest right now because 
maybe the things that you have been waiting for, I know it's been a long time coming, but you know, once life starts moving, once you get out of that winter and you know, spring comes and you start thawing, you come out of your cocoon, all of a sudden you're flying all over the place and I literally just big emphasis on flying, maybe you're flying out or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, there's a lot, like a lot gonna be changing and um, you need to prepare for it, okay? And uh, some of you guys, it could be even about marriage, especially if you are um, engaged. If you are engaged, this is up for a couple of you. It's like you need to prioritize your rest and make the plans. Make sure you have all the travel plans ready. Make sure that you have, because you're going to get, you, you know weddings are extremely busy. That's why they're saying prepare right now. Prepare for the unexpected and um, start planning right now. If you do get proposed to, shout out to you, let me know. But um, yeah, they want you to start planning right away and making sure that you're prioritizing your rest while you're making the plans. There's emphasis on balance, okay, with this Two of Pentacles, like balancing your rest and taking action so that your manifestations can come in, but you don't drain yourself because we need the priority to be on you, feeling good now so that you can call in your manifestations and everything goes smoothly. And trusting your intuition when it comes to saying no to things that you can't handle right now so you don't get too much chaos in your life and that you can still continue to blossom and bloom and prioritize whatever it is that you need to prioritize which is pretty much your education keeping your boundaries strong healing and resting and just being ready for travel <laughs> is like <laughs> i don't get ready i stay ready kind of vibes so there's something about you just being prepared uh not holding like don't be too rooted in whatever it is that you are or wherever it is that you are because you might be moving or something like that. You know, don't like, let's say you are, you want to join the gym and stuff. Make sure you don't get like the year contract just in case you move and you, they, where you move, they don't have that gym in the state or whatever it is, you know, then you'd have to get another gym and you can't even cancel that gym membership because you signed the year contract. It's like that kind of vibe. Don't make any commitments right now because there's something about movement is coming. Your wishes are coming and um, you're going to be fighting your fears. You're going to be seeing things clearly and you're going to be stepping in your power and putting yourself out there. And uh, you need to prioritize your self-worth and self-love so that you do not get affected by outside energies that try to spew fear onto you as you go through through these transitions. So that's where we're going to call it. You can pick another pal if you feel called to. I love you, pal one. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey pal 2, it's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Let me know how or why in the comments, okay? If you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box. But I'm not bringing a message you for a reading, so please be aware of scammers. Keep in mind that thousands of people are watching. If something doesn't resonate, you know, you can watch another pal, watch another reading. Just do what makes you happy, boo, okay? Ain't nobody got a gun into your head. If you came from Pal 1, I'm sorry, Pal 1 was intense. I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting that at all. So the energies do feel lighter. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but um, yeah, Pal 1 was intense, bro. Intense. Like, holy crap. I don't know. It just felt intense to me. Um, mainly because of energies outside of themselves and processing, but... Okay, let's get your current energy. Again, if this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading. Just do what makes you happy, boo, because, you know, you have free will. <laughs> what is pile number one? No, pile number two is current energy. Some of y'all definitely came from pile two. Again, I'm sorry. Pile two's current energy. See? Already lighter. Okay. No, I don't. Okay. Jesus. Bottom of the deck, we have King. Oh, wow. You guys are stepping into your boss energy. Boss ass B. Okay. So, a lot of you guys are the leaders. Okay. And I just heard that it's subconscious. I heard that it's not like you're out here trying to control people. It's just you know what to do when shit hits the fan. You're the person who takes... You just... You have this regal, authoritative energy. You know 
what to do. You don't panic. You know how to stay stoic. You know how to stay calm. And you know how to bring about solutions. Because we do have this engineer, architect of solutions, problem solver. That's why you step up. You see it. You identify it. You're observant. Okay? You're the master of disaster. You got this ninja energy. So you'd be like... <laughs> Not the sound effects. But... It's like master of stealth, okay? You're the master of like moving behind the scenes and, and taking control, stepping up, letting people know this is what you need to do, this, this, and this. And, and you know, you are meant to do that. You are meant to be in a position of power because you are extremely intelligent, okay? People may think that you're hard-headed, but it's just that you see what needs to be done and you take action. And people feel like, oh, this person's bossy, da -da -da -da. okay? I'm not going to help you anymore, right? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding, but like, it's like that kind of vibe. Like if someone's taking your um, advice or you, the way that you help people for granted or the way that you have step up, especially a job, then there's a, a need for you to speak your truth about this. And also make sure that you're focusing, focusing, focusing on your passions. You're a very creative person, but you're also extremely analytical and intelligent and you're good with technology. You're good with taking the lead. And it's like, you would be perfect to be an entrepreneur. Okay. If you want to be an entrepreneur, uh, if you already have a side business and stuff, keep your moves silent, okay, with this ninja energy, shadow walker, move in the shadows, and then allow your shit to shine after. But you are a beautiful soul who's going to be celebrated by many, who many will listen to you, and you will help a lot of people solve their problems while solving your own problems in the process, okay? Life doesn't need to feel like a battle, you don't need to feel like you're fighting. All you need to do is, you know, continue to whatever it is that you are leading in or whatever it is that you're doing. If you have a regular job or whatever, you know, do that. But make sure you're focusing on your passions at least a couple hours a day, if not a week, so that you can make your passion your, your full-time job your full-time income so that you can leave behind whatever this is and that's maybe somebody is going to not appreciate you maybe you're already at a job that doesn't appreciate you and uh the solution for that is that you make whatever it is that your passion is your main priority when you're not focused on this maybe go part-time cut certain expenses out so that you can afford that you know there's a need for you to prioritize making your creative ventures or your passion projects your priority and maybe that's what's going to come out in regards to your priority but i guess that's already coming out right now but i guess there's someone who's not appreciating you if you're already an entrepreneur and stuff like that there could be certain things in regards to maybe um business partners or clientele or something like that that um could be judging you right now and they're going to <laughs> i heard reap uh what they sow because it's like they don't understand the way that your mind works so they don't see exactly why you do what you do or like you know what it is until after and you know i'm not sure the relevance of that but there's something that you will see somebody make apologize for you know judging you harshly or not appreciating you whether it's a friend or you know maybe like, I feel like it's more having to do with business. Maybe it's even people, but like family or something like that, friends and lovers and stuff. Just there's big emphasis on like you need to go where you're appreciated and focus your energy on who appreciates you and do what makes you happy so that you can add more color and fun and love into your life and more stability and joy. So, anyway, that was intense. <laughs> let's, if that resonates at all, let's get into your oracles all right pile number two we have pay attention we have restoration we have expect powerful change new moon eclipse and then we have visionary so a lot of you guys are psychic <laughs> a lot of you guys could have a social media presence and maybe that could be the thing that we were talking about prioritizing in regards to maybe your passion maybe you're meant to be an influencer okay because there's emphasis on like you guys are leaders you guys are trailblazers people pay attention to you people focus on you you ground people you make people 
change and that's what you need to prioritize is allowing yourself to shine but also making sure that you're not draining yourself and focusing on your healing and focusing on having hope and faith that the people who are meant to support you will because there's emphasis on like <laughs> you can't please everybody you know what i'm saying you want to help a lot of people you want to you maybe get triggered easily um or maybe you get upset or angry with this like red energy when it comes to people not listening to you, not taking your advice, or people, um, you upsetting people, okay? Like, or when people, like, comment things, especially if you're a social media content creator, it's like, you, you have to change that. Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to the people who actually lift you up. There's always going to be haters, okay? If you ain't got haters, you ain't doing it right. And pal two, you have haters and they want you to pay attention to them. They are angry that you're shining and that you're, they know, they see your vision and they know that you will continue to shine. Okay. They don't want to accept that. They want to compromise your vision. They want to mess with your head. And the thing you need to prioritize is trying to not take things personally. Yes, if you feel angry because some jackass comments on your shit and projects their shit onto you because you always have to remember how people treat you is a reflection of them if they're speaking their truth you know take it into consideration and then let it go if it triggers you that's when you need to look within and be like okay what's this really why is this really bothering me you know but if it's just somebody who's in a nasty energy who is miserable and who wants you to be miserable do your best to understand that this person has um Somebody pissed in their Cheerios pretty much and you can't do anything about that. That's a them issue. Ignore it. Okay, big emphasis on what you give your attention to grows. So if you give your attention to the negativity, to the negative comments, to people judging you or trying to change you or, or mess with you, mess with your vision. Boop. Fuck that. So prioritize shining. Prioritize putting yourself out there. Prioritize speaking your truth. Pouring your water into things that um, will grow. Investing your energy and time in regards to things that will help you for generations to come with this child right here. It's like you're meant to build generational wealth and this is your path to do so. And yes, you may get judged. Yes, you are a trailblazer. You have a vision. You're a visionary. And, um, a lot of you guys could be psychics too, you know what I'm saying? But you have to post your stuff. You have to put yourself out there. You have to do it. And, um, when you do this, you will have a lot of change, but you do have to be open to change. Okay. Again, there was a stubborn energy that we were talking about. You may get downloads. Okay. Cause these, both of these people, you know, with this energy around their head, you may get downloads or ideas and stuff. And instead of like taking action and doing it right away you may get in your head and talk yourself out of it you know what i'm saying and uh there's a need for you to trust in those downloads trust in your intuition when it happens when it comes in pay attention to it because it will bring in your wishes fulfilled so prioritize listening to your intuition trusting your intuition holding that vision that you have for yourself in your life don't like you know, yes, the Lulu is a Sululu, but if you call yourself the Lulu, don't call yourself the Lulu. Just be like, you know, I know what it is that I want. I know it's going to come in, and it will come in when it's meant to. It's about having faith right now, having hope and faith with this star energy, because this is the star. So we have Aquarius energy. But um, getting comfortable with change. With this expect powerful change, you're going to have a lot of change that could get you upset. Things that um, are happening because it's like a domino effect that is supposed to make you change, that's supposed to push, push you out of your comfort zone because you need to prioritize stepping out of your comfort zone. That's going to make it easier for you. Sooner or later, you step, step out of your comfort zone so much that it's going to be like clockwork. It's not even going to be an issue and um, you'll be able to put yourself out there. The same thing is that like in regards to pushing yourself out of your comfort zone when people trigger you. When people talk their talk or whatever it is, project onto you. The thing about it is like prioritizing, not taking things personally. The four agreements could be something that you may need to read and prioritize those four things, which is, what is it? Be impeccable with your word. Don't take things personally. Um, always do your best and don't make assumptions. Okay. <laughs> um, that is coming through. Anything else? 
Yeah, you need to pour into yourself as well, kind of similar to Pile 1, pouring into yourself so that you can be able to support your family, your friends, and your loved ones, and holding that vision. And if people don't support you, pay attention to that. Pay attention to who supports you and who doesn't. Because when you make it, that's how you'll know who actually deserves to be there, who is riding for you, and who you kind of like need to let go of because... They're just trying to ride your coattails. There's emphasis on that. Prioritizing, paying attention to how people feel about your stardom, how people feel about you getting your manifestations, paying attention to you making changes, what your intuition says about people, the red flags, the red flags. Okay, there's something about red flags are going to be coming up and you need to pay attention to that. Who shows you love? Who just shows you love when you're down? And, um her fake who there's like something about you're gonna see something uh somebody's gonna be fake and you need to prioritize moving on from that and healing that okay because there's something about somebody somebody it's like if you can't beat them join them kind of energy so i don't know who that is maybe it's somebody you took a step back from they're gonna try and come back on some weird shit because they see that you're shining or you're going towards success and they're gonna be like oh yeah i can help you use just pay attention okay why are they coming back now where were them where were they when um you know there's a song like but where were they where were them where were they where were they when you was you know shooting in the gym <laughs> Okay, let's move on to your tarot. All right, pile number two. Four of Swords, the World, Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands. Then we have the... I'm sorry, that's not the Seven of Wands. That's the Nine of Wands. Yeah, makes sense. Kind of similar to pile one, too, with the boundaries against people trying to make... It's like you're carrying a lot of people on your back. You're carrying a lot of people. You already have a heavy load based off of, of, like, yourself. You already have scars that you're still healing from, okay? And you're trying to close out those cycles. So prioritizing, closing out those cycles, doing your social media work or whatever it is that this content is, whether it's podcasts or working on your, whatever this creative venture is that you're meant to be working on, okay? While still maintaining your rest, your health, and meditation, what you need to prioritize is your mental health, okay? You have a lot of scars that cause a lot of triggers that do make you become your worst nightmare, your worst enemy. Your mind plays tricks on you. Your mind may deceive you, okay? Especially with this uh, magician and seven of swords. But there is more. It's deeper than this, too. Then we also have the high priestess and the five of cups and the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys, you do need to prioritize um, your friends, certain friends, the trustworthy friends, those that you feel super connected to. Your intuition will tell you exactly who those people are because they could be going through something that they kind of may need you, okay? But it's just about reaching out to them just to check in on them. Okay, I'm not saying you have to do the healing for them, but, you know, if they open up about it and stuff, you know, do what you can. But you can't force anyone if they want to keep things hidden. That's for them. But there's maybe a friend that may need your help that if you just reach out to them and let them know, hey, I'm here for you. I send you love. I'm, you know, I hope you're good. Let them know you still care because I don't know what this is. Maybe you took a step back from them or something and they got sad or, you know, they're spiraling or going through a lot. So that's only for a couple of you. There is this other thing about, you may have, um, how do I say this? You may have some friends that could be a little, um, manipulative. Okay, also there's a thing about maybe you lost certain friends in your past that you may need to heal that, okay? So that those friendships do not repeat in the future. Because if you don't heal it, you will get those same friends just in different bodies. And then you'll be like, is it me? Like, why the fuck does this keep happening? It's because you didn't heal from the previous betrayal. Because there's something about betrayal. But also there could be um, you prioritizing seeing through certain people. Because there could be this, with this magician and the seven of swords, what's that about? A little deeper. The star. You may have somebody who's trying to manipulate you and act like, you know, they support you. But in reality, whoa. 
They either want to be with you or be you. Yeah, a lot of, okay. Jesus. <laughs> well, just make sure that you see through people, okay? Because there's something about... People think that you're easy to manipulate because you kind of be all over the place emotionally or, you know, you kind of seem flustered at times. But in reality, it's like you're not. But you just look, you portray it, okay? And, um... <laughs> People just think that they can go it over on you. It's like sometimes you can see the truth because we have the high priestess here, but you don't speak on it, right? Like, you know when someone's lying and instead of calling them out, you're like, okay, noted, but I'm going to move on. I don't need to say it. But keep a tally. It's like, keep a tally and watch. Just watch. Just remember. Remember the things. Remember the movements. And, um... Keep count, I guess you can say, because somebody may be mm, moving on some weird-ass energy. Can we get a little deeper? What is this weird-ass energy? The sun, true love, and I just saw the king of pentacles. Some, these, you know what it is? Somebody is lying about their emotions for you with the lovers, the sun, the nine of cups. You're exactly what somebody wants. The thing is, is that Ten of Cups in the reverse. And then we have the Three of Nine of Coins. What is this? Like, the thing is, is like somebody does want you, but I feel like it's a cake. And this could be somebody that you want too, yeah. The thing is, is that you have to be patient when it comes to this because I feel like they're holding on to something or someone and you may have certain things that you need to heal before you can move forward in this, okay? Before you can invest into this. So prioritizing your healing will allow this person to come in, but until you flip this Ten of Cups upside down and, and you find happiness because home is where the heart is, okay? You find happiness within yourself and focus on having a foundation within yourself and uh, focusing on your it's pretty much focusing on yourself but you do have somebody who is kind of like <laughs> you may already know who this is like they got a crush on you etc but they've been lying about it or whatever but it's like yeah they don't want to be a player no more <laughs> jesus christ what the fuck so prioritize yourself and um don't allow this person to manipulate you right now because one some of them could be lying and could be in a relationship while they're trying to get with you and um if it's a new person if not <clears throat> this person is not emotionally ready and you are not emotionally ready and then there's another thing about somebody who could be acting like they uh wearing a mask in regards to their emotions but deep down they really want something with you but they just can't speak their truth and that's where the patience comes in and about like you not investing into that and just prioritizing yourself. Like you know that this person wants you, you know that this person can make you happy and you know that you make this person happy. And uh, the thing is, is like it's not going to work out right now because they still have certain things that they need to process. You know, they could be in like their whole phase or just non-committal right now. And instead of stressing yourself out and focusing on love or relationships right now, it's like you need to focus on yourself and not taking on any more burdens and keeping your boundaries with this person and everyone else right now so that you can close out certain cycles from the scars that you have from your past so that you don't bring that energy into the new age that you're stepping into because again you're stepping into a new powerful phase and don't prioritize social media at all prioritize being present i'm not saying cut out social media all together but you know Dopamine detox could help or just limiting your screen time right now, okay? Maybe going into nature, connecting with the trees, the ocean, okay, the seas, doing fun things for yourself, things that make you happy instead of focusing on somebody who can't commit to you right now. Yes, you may want them, but it's like you both want each other right now. It's just maybe it's just not the time right now. So, that's what we're going to call it. I love you, pal, too. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's going on, pal? Three, last but never least, it's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, 
give me a thumbs up and comment let me know how or why okay baby keep in mind thousands of people could be watching so there's always gonna be some messages that may not resonate i mean i hope it resonates like a personal but if it doesn't you know take what resonates or watch another reading watch another reader watch another video just do what makes you happy okay we will be getting your current energy and if you would like to book a reading my email is in the description box just remember i will never message you for a reading so beware of scammers pal one was intense pal two took a turn and i was not expecting what came out pal three let's see <laughs> Well, that's Paul 3's current energy so they, they can know that this is their pile. If this doesn't resonate again. Watch another reading. Someone's name could be Brad. Maybe you know a Brad. B Rad from the Boo. That's so random. Interesting. Okay. Mm. You feel like life's been a fight. I feel like you don't know where to go because it's funny how we have guide which says navigator right but then we also have lost soul <laughs> yeah, it's like you know what it is that you want but you still feel lost because you've been re <sighs> well, I was about to say reliving it's like you've been receiving challenges okay you've been getting hit with challenges that have been blocking you, testing you, making you feel like you're not on the right path, okay? But you are on the right path, and you will find clarity, but maybe it's like you need to just kind of focus on the adventure of this, focus on the journey, and stop focusing on where you're going. Focus on the little progress that you can make every day, and enjoy the little moments, because there's something about you being in this, like, lost soul energy that's kind of blocking you because it's making you feel stressed and lowering your vibration maybe you need to listen to some happy music maybe go to the because this is barred but it's like giving bar you know what i'm saying go out and have some fun go do something that really does make you enjoy life again also getting physical because we do have this boxing glove or maybe traveling and it doesn't have to be you going on an actual trip like super far, maybe just a vacation or going to your local park or, or somewhere that's close to you so that you can just spend some time in nature or going and having a night on the town. Just doing something to take your focus away from the challenges that you feel are blocking you from the goal so that you can just have a clean slate and be able to diffuse this situation whatever this is so that you can be able to you know trust in the path and be able to take the actions that you need to and actually figure out what path it is which there's no one path for you pile three but the thing is you do feel lost and you feel like you want to know where you want to go you want adventure and you just want to achieve your goals but the thing is like just enjoying the now doing what you can now having a good time with friends and telling each other stories or making epic movies <laughs> like going this big emphasis on you just need a night on the town you just need a fun night to just like shift your priorities and shift your perspective Okay, you're about to shift your priorities, but we'll get into that, like where your priorities lie, but give yourself credit because you've made a lot of progress. Yeah, you had your ups and downs and maybe you had some challenges, but that does not mean that you are not going to be somebody who will succeed because you are an epic legend and that's what you will be. Okay, you may have suffered some defeat. You may feel like you're wandering and you don't know where to go. And you've been struggling with certain things. But that's why, again, you need to do something that will just get bring the excitement back into your life. Or something that just makes you happy. Doing something like that is going to get you into a higher vibration. Which will help you to connect with your soul. And as you connect with your soul, that's your real, true guidance. Then you'll connect with your north node. You'll start to feel more fulfilled, more happy. And things will align. Okay, so if that resonates at all, clarity will be coming to you soon. Let's get into your oracles. All right, pile three. So we have universal oneness, transcend, prosperity, lives, lies. I said lives, lives, I guess. <laughs> lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. We have virgin. Then we have um, a, new moon, a new start is coming in, new moon. 
Uh, Virgo energy too, because the Virgin represents Virgo for me. Let's just see. What do you need? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> there is um, a cycle that you're going to be ending. This has been a cycle that has been feeling like an infinity. And the thing about this is, is prioritizing the fact that, yes, this ending may feel painful. It may get you all up in your head, but it is something that you need to do because it's going to give you a fresh and clean slate. Also, staying true to yourself, staying true to your beliefs, and staying true to doing what is good for you in regards to you feeling good, you living good, and you having prosperity, and doing what makes you, you know, what lights you up? What is this universal oneness? The star. Are we taking reversals? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you need to prioritize is... Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Doubting. There is a doubt. Releasing doubt. That's the thing is you lose hope because toxic things come into your life with the five of coins in the reverse and the prosperity lies ahead you need to prioritize not stressing out about money right now because you're blocking it okay it is coming in you're probably going to receive money like today <laughs> or in the next three days so let's be real um because there is a change coming in but you do need to um continue to be patient with yourself and don't beat yourself up because you're going to see a lot of things that you could have prevented from happening that are going, you're going to have a lot of realizations, okay? Prioritize being kind to yourself in this transition when you realize that you've been kind of blocking yourself and that, you know, it wasn't really like things were going wrong because of this and because of that. At the end of the day, you were exactly what you, where you needed to be and these were lessons that you needed to learn, etc., etc. But it's like, prioritize not like yes you do need to prioritize your money and stuff like keep working on whatever it is that you're working on but not out of scarcity Pri prioritize making money in a fun way like let's say a lot of you guys could be creatives or something like that prioritize doing what you love to make money is giving some of you guys are meant to have multiple sources of income but you lose hope because something may go wrong at your your nine to five or something like that or you may have toxic people because we have the devil here and the Four of Cups. There could be someone who uh, is a distraction that is toxic around you that um, you may need to close out a cycle with this Wheel of Fortune because this person, if you don't, they're going to keep you stuck. You're going to miss opportunities. A new start is coming and prosperity lies with this. And if you follow your heart and transcend the need to continuously repeat cycles that you know you need to end whether it's toxic cycles whether it's you know entertaining certain things or just complaining or being negative or projecting limiting beliefs continuously on yourself because of one thing or another it's like you're blocking your success also you need to get um comfortable with being seen Okay, with the star in the reverse, it's like you dim your light, you hide yourself, but your personality, your essence, you allowing yourself to be seen is going to bring you about abundance. You have this worry about competition, you know, maybe there could be somebody who's doing the work that you're doing and maybe they're receiving success faster. Your time is coming now and if you continue to worry about like others, then you're not going to get your accolades. You're not going to get your flowers, okay? Because you have your own way of doing things and you need to prioritize that. Stop comparing yourself. Stop looking at others. Prioritize doing things a new way. Doing things the way that you want. And prioritize being open to newness. A new start is coming and you will have trouble ending the old. You will be connected to your, it's like you you have one foot in, one foot out from your past to your present. You know there's things that you need to change, you need to release and let go of and t remove your focus from. 
But it's like you may feel like, oh, I've always been this way or I've always done it this way. I can't do something new. It's going to be like you have a new project that could actually bring you about prosperity and that's what you need to focus on. And um, you need to like actually take action towards that. But, you know, you haven't been planning because of, you know, you holding on to certain things and you're not moving forward. Yeah, you're holding on to the limiting beliefs. You're, you're holding on to doubt or you're, you know doing things to keep your mind off stuff or you're focusing on the fact that you're bored when in reality it's like you don't have time to be bored <laughs> because you have something new that you need to start focusing on that is going to really help you feel fulfilled feel happy feel loved get out of this like kind of like closed heart center energy because she looks just so discontent <clears throat> the slowness the boredom it's it's no longer going to be a factor if you trust your intuition and start to tap into whatever this creative venture is, whatever this idea is. You know that um, your emotions, because of things that you uh, experienced in the past, maybe failures, let's say that you um, want to start a business, you have an idea for a business, but you may have failed at another business. And that's what makes you lose hope is like, oh, I've always failed or I've always done this or it's never worked out before. Why is it going to be any different now? What you need to prioritize is shifting that mindset, purifying that, letting go of your past and trusting in the fact that you have a new life coming in as long as you let go of those cycles and as long as you just stay pure at heart. Focus on keeping your vibration high, doing what it is that you love. Heart chakra energy is heavy here with this green energy too. And Taurus is, are stubborn. They're a fixed sign, okay? There's emphasis on stop feeling like it's only going to be one way or your life is going to be stuck in this one way. There's always phases and change is a constant, okay? And also don't be stuck on any relationships in the past either. If this has to do with love and there's a new start, love, uh, start in love coming or a revamp or refresh in love, it's like you have to release like this pessimistic um assumption that you know this person may you, it's like don't compare this person okay or if it's a friend or whatever if there's like someone new coming in uh do not compare this person yes we are all one but we are all but a drop in the ocean again life is a paradox <laughs> So it's like if you have somebody new and you're talking to somebody, especially if you're like dating somebody or something like that, and you start like, you know, making assumptions because your ex used to do this. So you assume like, oh, yeah, that's what this person's doing or why this person's doing that and etc. And you start to judge them harshly and stuff. Just be careful with that. Reflect on like why it is that you're assuming this or why why do you feel this way before you start acting? I heard accusations throwing accusations at people so prioritize like really questioning yourself like do I need to say this or is this my fear talking or is it my intuition okay the delays are going to be removed and um, the way that you are going to continuously remove the delays is by healing the limiting beliefs affirmations you need to prioritize affirmations keeping your vibration high and doing things that make you money making money moves building your independence and um being open to working with others don't be so closed off to others i know that you guys have been hurt a lot but and you're like i don't want to be around people you guys are very focused on being hermit right now it's kind of like get out of your head and and get out of that um let that shit go because you're blocking yourself from you know people or or stop viewing people in such a negative light it's like not every person is a backstabber not every person is out to get you not every person is negative you know you do have beautiful people and you're a beautiful person and yes because of your beautiful light you know you did experience certain things but now you are discerning and you'll be able to move away from that okay but it's about you trusting your intuition and and not making assumptions don't expect the worst because if you expect the worst you will get the worst Damn, that was intense too. <laughs> but you do have a new beginning in money coming in. And you're going to feel a lot lighter and feel more connected to your heart, okay? Endings always bring about new beginnings. So do not attach yourself to those endings, okay? Yes, they can be painful sometimes, but always know that there's a better, there's something new and better coming in with the ending. Well, let's get into your tarot.
All right, kind of similar to another pile, prioritizing your mental and emotional help. You may be self-sabotaging in regards to something because I heard doubt in my head. Then we have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords with this Five of Swords energy. It's like, you doubt your power. You are the Queen of Swords, King of Spears energy, and you have to shift your perspective and really step into that, okay? You have to let go of how you think success is going to come into your life as well a lot of you guys have like i just heard like uh <laughs> god laughs at your plans you know you make plans and god laughs up at them there's like something about being adaptable you know you may have to pivot you there may be a block in one road but that doesn't mean that you have to give up on the journey you just have to pick a new path and it could be just right there, like a different, a pivot. You know what I'm saying? What you need to prioritize is pivoting, okay? Maybe you've been doing the same thing over and over again, and maybe you need to make one small tweak, and that will bring in the success. You are not stuck. You are not trapped, but your mental keeps you stuck in track. <laughs> okay, whatever that means. But um, there's also this energy of, like, this kind of, I just heard revenge in my head. Um, this kind of like, there's an energy, what is this energy? Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. High Priestess. It's hidden to you now, but there's somebody who doesn't want to see you happy, wants to keep you confused, and doesn't want you to be able to focus on your work. This person could be, because the Three of Cups in Reverse could be somebody who portrays themselves. How do we know who this person is? This person who's somebody who's very imbalanced, who kind of doesn't know left from right, they could be extremely unhappy as well and they could portray themselves as a friend. There is a need to move away from that because this person um, makes you feel trapped, kind of traps you in this kind of negative mindset or maybe is more pessimistic and, you know, you are the same you become who you surround yourself with, okay? The five people that you spend the most time with is who you really become. And you need to prioritize questioning who it is is in this five of swords energy. Because whoever's in this five of swords energy, they get you in this nine of swords and eight of swords energy. They really shift your perspective from believing in your power to kind of being pessimistic and cold and, you know, not feeling like you can be successful, because you're going to be successful, okay? King of Spears, the world, and the Four of Coins. But again, there's emphasis. Let go of how you will succeed. Also, prioritizing movement. Maybe um, you need to start working out, going on walks, uh, prioritizing what you're eating, because that does affect your mental, okay? You eat more fast food. If you exercise less and stuff, meditate less, it does affect your mental health, which makes it harder for you to, you know, focus on your business or take action and stuff. And there's somebody who wants to keep you stuck in that energy. They're like It's given like there's somebody who is like, they have, they act like they want to, you know, spend time with you, but they're like, oh, wait, let's go drink it. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, I have to do this. And they're like, oh, don't be a sour Nelly, you know, come and drink with us. It's fine. We'll just go out for one drink. And then they peer pressure you into like getting effed up and stuff. And it's like, I don't know what this is, like why this person has this effect on you or whatever, but it's like, I don't know. They, 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 there's something about they influence you in a way because, you know, they bring the fun or they, they, they know how to gaslight you into thinking like, oh, it's okay. It's fine. Like you'll work on it another day. Like tomorrow's another day. And yes, it is. But it's like, you got to take action now because you have something that you need to build and it's going to be big with this world energy. It's like something that you need to focus on now because it's going to take some time to build it and you don't have time to give your energy to other people especially um there's also this eff uh this essence of somebody like projecting or or trying to start fights and stuff and you need to just set some boundaries with them or somebody who's selfish because they don't see that you have other priorities and you need to prioritize your business and stuff or something like that. And um, they try to keep you stuck, you know, or they try to guilt trip you and you need to set your boundaries with that because if you don't, you will continue to be stuck. But yeah, prioritizing your mental health, meditation, journaling, 
um, therapy, okay? Because there's something about your mental health, you self-sabotage, or your mental could be your worst enemy. You could have heavy air or um, fire placements, you know, with all these swords energy. My gosh. We also have Pisces energy, also another sign that gets all up in their head. You know what I'm saying? But, um... <laughs> X marks the spot, right? You know where you want to go. Again, this lost soul. And maybe this lost soul is somebody who's next to you who wants you to be a lost soul. But you know exactly where you're meant to go, but this person affects you. Maybe it's because like, you're an empath and stuff, and then you start to feel lost. So it's like you're not even lost. But you feel lost because you feel the energies of the people that you care about. Maybe there's someone around you. I don't know. But you know exactly what needs to be done. You know that you need to take lead of your life and you know that you need to let go of certain cycles. And you know you need to let go of being stuck or procrastinating and, and not taking action because you end up analysis paralysis kind of vibes. You are ready to take action and it's just time to do it. Just do it like Nike said because this is going to bring you about prosperity, success, and maybe new beginnings or revamp beginnings in love. More peace and stability and happiness and joy. And you don't have to do this alone. You need to prioritize being open to help and not just being in this lone wolf energy all the time. It's okay to ask for help. And especially when it comes to your emotions or your mental. But just in general, like if you need help in regards to your business, again, like you may have this idea, like I have to do this alone. No one's going to be able to help me. Da, 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 da. Get that out of your head. Prioritize being open to new avenues, being open to collaborations, being open to delegation and giving others an opportunity to work on things that, you know, they would be able to get done quicker. That if you try to do it, it's like you take 10 years and you have other things that you need to prioritize in regards to your business that um, would bring you success quicker, but you're busy doing the grunt work and stuff. You know, maybe paying, uh, like, it's like when I had to make, like, um, things for when I started my YouTube and stuff. I paid other people to um, make, like, the thumbnails or whatever else, like, the pictures and stuff, because obviously that's not my forte. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like outsourcing. You may need to outsource to certain things because there's other priorities that you have that will serve your business okay like instead of doing your own accounting and stuff you have to pay someone for accounting it will help you in the long run people don't want to invest in certain things like that and this could not be right now but it is on the well on the way pretty soon okay because there's emphasis on like you're gonna need an accountant you're gonna need other people who are gonna help you in regards to this because this is you're building something big okay emphasis on you're building something big and you have a lot of success coming but you can't build it alone okay so that's what we're gonna call it pile number three i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye